guys, I'm Jeff the Homestead Dad, and welcome to Homestead. Today I'm pretty excited. We got something new for the Homestead. It's a tool that you use for other things that you process on the Homestead. So, I want you to take a guess. So, I, it was at a shipping place. They were supposed to bring it and deliver it to me. Uh, fortunately, it was close enough that I could just drive over and then get it because they didn't have a truck today to bring it over here. So, I went over and got it. Good thing I had my big van. It's on a pallet. It's kind of heavy. What do you think it is? Leave a, uh, a comment in the um, comment section below. Let me know what you think it is. I'm gonna give you a peek of it if you haven't figured it out yet. So here's the package, okay? Do not double stack, fragile, on a pallet, pallet strap down, an accessory box on top. What do you think it is? Does it change your guess now that you've seen it? Okay, I'm gonna give you one more hint. I'm gonna show you the sticker for what it is. This might not give it away for everybody. Gorilla, the Kong. The Kong. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. Let's, I'm gonna see if I can have that guy right there help me get this off of here. We're gonna unstrap it. We're gonna get the um, box off of it so it's as light as possible because it's kind of, it, it's heavy. I think we can lift it off by hand, uh, but if not, we'll have to move all the bikes and get the tractor out. But like I said, I think we can, even if we've got to take some of the packaging off and um, take it out a piece at a time, we can do that. So put your uh, guess in the, in the comment below. I've got the part of the package undone. This is very sturdily packaged. Um, I'm going to give you a view of the top of it. See if that gives it away for you. You know what it is? It's pretty sweet, huh? Okay, I'm gonna take that package out, that box out over there. Uh, this, all these sides just slide off, so I'm gonna take those off, and then hopefully it's light enough that we can just lift this off, no problem. I think we can do it. So I've got the box off. Here's what it is. It is a Kamado style grill. It is made by Grilla Grills, which is a Michigan company. They're over in Holland, Michigan, I believe. Um, so like Big Green Egg, Kamado Joe, same type of company. This one, from everything I've heard and read, equal quality, lower price. So this was hundreds of dollars cheaper than the equivalent Big Green Egg. I would have had to get a Big Green Egg XL. This is the one size that they make, but it's got a double grill on it. Um, there's a Facebook group for Grilla Grills owner and they love it. They say it's, it's awesome. So let's get this out of here. I'm going to see if I can get some stuff out of here so that we can pull this out of here more easily. Um, I think Jacob and I should be able to lift this not too much difficulty. Um, and then we can start putting it together. Okay, so here is the grill itself, the Kamado style grill. Here is the ceramic that goes inside of it. That is the actually grill grate. I don't know if you guys can see that up in here. This is the grill grate that goes in here on this. Um, and then we've got some other stuff. So you can see the legs are right here. The side things are right here. Over in this is the ash basket that I put in there so I can lift out the regular charcoal and the ash goes down. So I'm going to go ahead, um, maybe we'll time lapse this. I don't know. Um, I actually gave Jacob, Kong has a video on how to put this together. So Jacob's watching that while I get this stuff unbundled. He got this stuff out to here. I'm going to go ahead and start unclipping the zip ties. Uh, and then when he gets out or when he gets done watching the video, we're going to go ahead and put it together.
easier than I think either Jacob or I thought it was going to be. I think part of it helped because the grill was already high, so we didn't have to lift up. We were just lifting it over and then down, um, but it really wasn't. Yeah, Jacob was like, it wasn't that. I think we were expecting it to be super heavy. He and I are both used to carrying around several 50 pound bags of feed. So I think this thing all together when it's done is gonna be like, I think it's 200 and something pounds. So this part probably weighs I don't know, between 100 and 150. So, I mean, 75 pounds max for each of us, not that big a deal. So we're gonna go ahead, He's um, we put the vent. This is the vent on top. It's got two screws that hold it on. So he's just tightening those nuts on. Um, and then I think we put the ceramic in. We gotta take all the this packaging off of the ceramic like this and put it in. Um, but we're, I mean, honestly, let's see. We're like 15 minutes in. Uh, so after this, we're gonna put the ceramic in and then we start putting the handle and the side tables on. I think we're gonna be done pretty quickly, so let's keep after it. out here Jonah is finishing up uh, the brackets for the table so the cool thing about this is I think the green egg if you buy the wings they have to stay out with this they flip down like this you can flip them up pretty easily whenever you're ready to use them like that so ready to be used same thing on the other side and then the handle here and this outdoor bamboo I like how they've um, burnished into the the gorilla the gorilla gorilla um, let me turn the camera around give you a little quick uh, look around. So, got the table on either side. It just comes down nicely like that and folds flat. We've got the handle here. Um, this is the ash tool that goes in here. You reach in and you scoop out the ashes. Got the um, temperature. It goes up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. I think you can see that. 900 degrees Fahrenheit because you can do pizzas in here in like two minutes. Um, all the way open, two, you can see down in there, one, closed, um, and then to open it up, so this is one of the cool things that's come standard with the Gorilla Grill, this, so this is the, called the Kong, but this folds up like that, so you've got this other grate down here that you can use, and then this folds up like this, so you can get down in here during a cook if you need to, and add coal to the ash basket. The ash, so the the black part down here keeps the coal from coming through. Um, this stainless steel is an add-on item. It's called the ash basket. 
And you can use this so that when you're done, you can kind of shake it around a little bit, lift it up, and you can use all of the charcoal that wasn't burned. The ash goes down through the bottom, and then you scoop it out through the front. Um, but yeah, this is this is it. I'm pretty excited about this bad boy. I'm waiting on one more, or maybe two more items from Grilla Grills. Uh, there's called a, I think it's called a diffuser that goes on there. It's for kind of diffusing the heat around so it's not direct heat. Um, that will probably come in a different uh, shipment, obviously. But this is the Grilla Grills cover. So one of the things that I really like about Grilla Grills is that not only is their um, Kamado style grill really, really well priced. Uh, I think this is $7.99 for just the grill, but just the grill comes with um, the tables on the side, the handle, the ash tool, the grate, um, and then the black thing that goes in. It doesn't come with that um, extra ash basket. That was an add-on that I bought. The cover is an add-on. Uh, I think I got a pizza stone, which was an add-on, and then the diffuser, which was an add-on. But their add-ons are really reasonably priced. I was looking, you know, because I always kind of look on Amazon to see what things are priced. And to find a nice grill cover that fits this, you couldn't find it for cheaper. At least I couldn't find it for cheaper than this one. And it's nice. It's, you know, it matches, which is great. Um, same thing. Their pizza stone, very reasonably priced. You can find one cheaper on Amazon, but not, you know, you might have to, you might get the wrong size. It was very reasonably priced. The ash basket, very reasonably priced. The green egg, the accessories were expensive. Um, so their grill was more expensive. You had to buy, uh, so the grill was a certain price and you had to buy the nest, which was with a stand that this is on that comes with it. Um, so all of those things are extra add-ons. This, I was able to get all of this stuff for less than I would have been able to buy, I think, just the Big Green Egg XL. Um, and I think this has a smaller diameter than the Big Green Egg XL, but because it's got the dual racks, it's got more cooking space. So I haven't used it yet, obviously. I think I may grab some steaks out of the freezer, go defrost them and maybe cook, on, cook those tonight. I have a pork butt in the refrigerator in there that I'm going to do, but I think I need the diffuser in order to do that well. Um, the other thing is there is a, a wonderful, wonderful group um, called Grilla Grills Owner, I think, or Grilla Smokers Owners or something. A ton of people on there. Um, great information. And the nice thing is they don't they don't bad talk other people. So when you're doing some research and you're wondering about, you know, well, should I get the Grilla Grills or the Kamado Joe or the big green egg they just kind of tell you why they like what they do they in my experience i have not seen that seen them bad talk any others people are asking about i think it's Rectech smokers or traeger grills or stuff like that because grilla grills not only makes a kamado style but they make several pellet smokers um smaller bigger that the people love they say that the build quality on it is amazing so People are looking for information about, well, should I get a Traeger or should I get a Grilla Grills? You know, they're, I think it's called the Silverback. They don't bad talk them. They just say, hey, here's why we like what we've got here. And you know, it's, it's really nice. So I'm gonna go on there, ask them if I need the diffuser in order to cook my first pork butt, or if I can go ahead and do that. I may, um, if that's the case, I may brine it tonight and cook it tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, the other thing is I got to check the weather because it's supposed to rain later this evening. So I'm going to go check the radar. But if you're interested in Grilla Grills, I will put a, um, a link in the description below. I believe it's just grillagrills.com. Uh, they've got a ton of videos on there. They've got a lot of recipes on there. Um, but I'm super, super psyched. And the reason I got this, uh, our big, let me show you, our big stainless steel grill that we have had for nine years somewhere somewhere between around nine years nine ten something like that this thing commercial series tarboil has done really well for us but if you look down in here these are starting to rust and like you can see these two have already fallen apart and the burners themselves are starting to corrode at some point this is just going to come apart and the whole thing's going to explode this actually i think is like 15 years old 
is in a little bit better shape. The grill itself, I need to steel wool because it's um, it's rusting. But I may keep this for now, just for if I need to, you know, quickly heat up some hot dogs or something like that. Like I said, this one has been great, but it's seen better days. So the Kamado style I got because I have a buddy who has a big green egg and loves it. Um, and the more I researched about it, the more I found out how much you can do with it. You can actually bake on these things. Like I said, you can do pizzas on them. You can do low and slow smoking. You can do um, steaks and like you would for regular grilling. And my buddy said he's got it down to a science where he can start it up and be ready to grill in 10 minutes, which is a little bit longer than a um, propane. You know, just turn on the gas tank, you know, light it up and you know, in three or four minutes you're ready to go. So, but three or four or five minutes versus 10 minutes and apparently the taste and I, I, had, to, I had to do it. So, and this should last, if we take care of it, this should last 20 or 30 years. So much longer than a regular propane grill. I may look at getting one of those um, griddles, the propane griddles. They are, I think Blackstone is one of the big names. Um, for doing like pancakes and bacon and stuff like that and hot dogs when I need to heat them up quickly but for now this is what I'm gonna do so if I cook on this later it'll be a different video if you have any questions about this why I chose this you know where I was looking stuff like that I'd be happy to answer them in the comments so thank you guys so much for watching click on this uh, bell notification the subscribe button join the homestead dad Facebook group it's a lot of fun there and I will see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.